Hi there, welcome on Typeforce channel. In this video I'm going to show you how this number 7 is created. Uh, this number 7 is also created with the blend tool. I already created another video about this technique, but in this video I'm going to show the uh, diversity of the blend tool. Because you can create any object and create a blend in between those objects and then uh, apply it to a path. So in this video I'm going to share how I made this number 7 and it's created by small number 7s and therefore I used these number 7s uh, which I created during a challenge. So I'm going to pick 4 of them. I think I had used these 4 going to make them a little bit smaller we want to make sure they are one part so we are going to use the pathfinder unite to um, create one object of these uh, numbers okay we do this for all of them okay then we are going to uh, switch the fill color to a stroke and we are going to add the stroke thickness a little bit so we are going to create dots instead of a striped outline by clicking on the stroke and then uh, and then check dash line on and set the cap to round as you can see it, ca it creates round um, dashes now so we are going to increase the weight of the dash of the line and we are going to set the gap a little bit lower so we have more dots in the outline. Okay, uh, I think. Okay, this looks quite good. So for now, we are going to create a box with these lines. We give it a white fill color at first. Okay, now we are going to add them underneath each other. Okay, it actually doesn't really care how the object is created. In the end, any object will work for the blend. So, duplicate the group by uh, selecting it and drag it with holding Alt and Shift to the right side. Select them both, go to object, blend, blend options. Make sure the spacing is set to specified steps and a thousand steps in between. Go to object again, go to blend and make. This already creates a beautiful blend. Okay, we are now going to create the number seven as a part with the pen tool. To want to make the number seven a little bit flowy. So this gives a nice depth and effect to the blend applied to it. Okay, we want to get uh, rid of the dotted outline. So we are going to select the object, go to stroke again and set dashed lines off. So it's just one stroke. Okay, we are going to adjust this a little bit. Drag this anchor point a little bit to the left. Decrease this one a little bit. I think we need some more of a rounding over here. Okay. We can still adjust the outline in a later stage as well. So for now we select the number seven, the blend, we go to object, blend, and replace spine. Okay. As you can see, you can still adjust the object or the path. Your computer might be uh, get a little, little bit slower while using a, 
a big blend like this. So yeah, it creates a nice depth in it. This is how the number seven is created. Hope you guys liked the video. Check my YouTube channel for other videos as well. And I see you hopefully in my next video. Peace.